We, we are, it's, it's, it's only the second bigger workshop and we are already evolving together. Because I, I just learned that some groups figured out that if they put less stuff up here, that I probably will read that. <laughs> or use colors. So there's a lot of influencing going on here. Um, maybe to start, just out of curiosity, because we've been working now this morning and this afternoon in the groups. How do you like that to exchange with you know, these different branches of the same tree? How's, how's it going? Who would like to say something about that? Yep. Very, good. Very, very stimulating. Very stimulating. That's good to hear. Very good. Very rewarding. Keep at it. Let's keep, let's continue. Let's continue. That's good to hear. Yes. I'd like to change the composition of the group so we get a touch of more participants. We are more networking. More networking. So revolution. <laughs> let's break through the walls. We will have many groups switching tomorrow afternoon, so we're going to uh, absolutely make sure that that happens. Yes, it's, it's a good point. It's also, yes. <laughs> Over here. Yes, Ella. Uh, I think it's a study of the future. All right. Uh, on this way. And um, when we change, when we do this uh, example uh, every year, then, and, and we sit in other groups, then we uh, can interconnect. Right. And uh, we can learn each other all. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So if we, if we keep coming back, we get to know everybody here, right? <laughs> yeah. But then, of course, we bring our brethren as well here. <laughs> all right. Maybe one more? In addition to what Alice said, uh, my experience is also very positive, And uh, there might even be a possibility that we do this more often than once a year. And that would be a great thing. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, I, I, some, somebody said there's a question up here. Um, but, and it is in color, but now I have five in color. Second from the right. On top row. Second from the right. Second from the right. Oh, it's not in color. Top row. Oh, the second from the On the bottom. Theosophical school of philosophy? Question mark, question mark. Could you tell us something about the question mark, question mark? What's the question? Yeah, well, that's the question. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> we said, um, we, were, we were thinking about these values, and then we said, well, each value do also is connected to the goal of what theosophy is for. So at the top, you will see that it is always to uh, relieve the pain to end or to to make suffering less. Yeah. And then we came to the to the symbol of the the most important value that we could come up with that is uh, unity meaning equality and diversity. Very smart to put it in a triangle mm -hmm. by the way. That also works. Mm -hmm. Symbolism yep. the, the mm -hmm. language of symbolism is Absolutely. most universal. Oh yes. And it shows. And uh, then uh, we started to translate this to the more um, diversity level so mm -hmm. how can we work with it in a practical way we did some suggestions there altruism is it, one it, it says altruism leads yeah. to service and it yeah. says destruction of ignorance yes and that leads us to study teaching practicing that should have been in a triangle but we had no more place <laughs> And then the question was, and now, how, where do we go from here? Okay. And then the question was, should there be a theosophical school of, um, uh, of uh, philosophy? And that's the question we wanted to ask ah. to everybody here. To everybody. Oh, who would like to respond to this question? Hmm. Hmm. New question. Over here. And then we go over there and we go over here. We don't know if um, what's meant is a formal with classes school of philosophy, but isn't that what all of the branches and the lodges are for? <laughs> I like that. That's a very good point. Okay, um, there was somebody over here. Yep. 
I wondered um, if we already have such a school of philosophy, mm -hmm. namely our society. All right. Well, that's, that's another answer. And over here. Well, what I notice now on the moment is that we are very uh, positive, a lot of positive reactions. And let's say a lot of ideas are popping up now. Uh, but I think um, there is coming another, um, how do you say that, uh, big uh, moment um, is what will we do with the enthusiasm of all the people here in the future? And ITC is an organization, I think we grow fast on the moment. And I think one of the challenges we have is really to really good consider what we will do with all this uh, positive energy what is coming free now and it gives a lot of opportunities and i think we have to be quite careful that we are doing something with this energy on the long future and not only on the short one so i think um, the board will have quite a heavy task to consider where do we stand how want he want how do we want to cope with all these reactions. And one thing you should keep in mind, that um, ITC have not the intention to be in composition, or oh, sorry, in um, um, a competition with the other organizations. So that is another thing, because if you want to do uh, more working together, then we should really help each other to get the core theosophy more out in the world and not start something that is in competition with each other. So that is a very important thing, because otherwise we are not working on brotherhood, but we just create another theosophical organization. Uh, and we have already so many, so we're not looking for new ones. <laughs> yeah, We're looking for core business, for cooperation, brotherhood. So. I, I realize what is going on, and I was thinking about our board meeting uh, Monday afternoon. I think we have really some heavy stuff on our table to think about. And you have to help us out in the coming days with ideas. And please think also on long-term activities. How can we help each other? Because that is the main thing where we are here. Yeah. Uh, this is just to fill in what our two... Yeah, add to what Herman said, you know, we have been talking many times about this and, um, and we were hoping actually that our dream would come true and it is coming through. The energy is there and I was talking to Herman earlier on, I said, this is the moment where we do need to be careful. But if it were just that you would go back to your own environment, to your own lodges, to your people and talk about this initiative, then most probably the words of Jim Colbert come true. He spoke to us yesterday when we spoke about those seven statements, those seven explanations of what we were doing. So when you feel that you can run very fast because the enthusiasm and the condition is there, perhaps that is the moment to slow down a little bit. Well, not today, <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> And not tomorrow, but well, <laughs> but what I mean is you could go back to your circles and remember what Jim said. It's true. It does not matter uh, with what organization you're affiliated with. But if we would just be able, if we would be able to give you that feeling that you feel better at home within the ULT environment, within your own ADR environment, within your own Point Loma environment, then I think we did a good job. Because we are not another theosophical organization. We are a platform where we meet, where we can learn from each other, where we exchange ideas. And now, thanks to you, we have a lot on our plate. But I think we will come to a good outcome. Oh, sorry. Just specifically, maybe you're planning to do this, but perhaps would it be possible for those who would be interested to take a list of the names and email addresses of everybody that would be accessible? For example, I live in Finland. People pass through Finland 
I don't, and now I've met some, and if you emailed, you know, you'd be welcome to stay at my place. You're in the woods, I think, somewhere, right? <laughs> my first reaction is yes. My second reaction is if people want this, because that is a private, uh, let's say, uh, thing, what you everyone to, uh, let's say, uh, realize for himself. On the other hand, I think you should realize that if we want to be strong, we should really be united. So that is a main important thing, because now at the moment it is very simple to branch off in small groups and go on for something very special. But that is not a force we try to build. We try to build to be strong, and we are only strong if we're united. So that is a very important thing. And it doesn't mean that email contacts will not work on that, but please realize what the effect can be. Yeah? Maybe to emphasize a little bit more what Herman is, is saying is do not run away with an idea you have right now, but try to look at not only the long term, but also the big picture of the whole ITC or the whole group that's here. Right? And there's, of course, the website that people want to be informed or wonder. And of course, we do have a website. Uh, the website gives specific information so you can share that with your friends. Uh, the um, the uh, e-magazine Theosophy Forward is a promoter of this initiative and there are more uh, publications that write about us. So if it is about sharing and letting others know, you have those possibilities already. So if you do not have our website addresses yet, we will give it to you. And it explains everything, who we are, what we want to do, and uh, what our purposes are. So that is something you can definitely share with others if that is a start. So it's a, it's, a, it's a really good sign of fruitful cooperation when ideas start popping up, right? So it's, it's a natural thing that's happening now. Maybe to give a little bit of an example, uh, presentations from our organizations, we have worked with more people on the presentation. Barend is a great uh, presenter. He's an absolute very good in that. I love that guy on unpersonal levels, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes he can be in pain in the ass, but it is also <laughs> on, on, principle, on principle things. And then he tries to teach me what I have to do, but it is absolute fine. But I think what we try to say is that why are we able to say giving good articles? Because we don't do it alone. For us, it is quite normal. Someone has an idee, the idea is going around, we work on it, we have more, we have meetings about it. Sometimes it is not needed, just a little bit of uh, remarks here and there. And that is the reason that you are able to do better work. So please realize that this is an example of working together and to be better. And to be better is what we need in going out in the world. And better is not more intellectual, no, better in expressing the theosophical teaching in an easier way so that people can understand it much better. I don't want to be, let's say, uh, too much focused on our activities, but to give you an example, please have a look in our English Lucifer on the table. Yeah? You can have them for free on PDF by email. If you want to buy them in paper, you have to pay a little bit. All the articles over there are articles really based with more people on certain experience. And sometimes we have even spent three years before we had a good article. Yeah? We're still working on gravity how to see that from a theosophical point of view. And we have already a couple of meetings, and still we are not there because it is too difficult. We know what we have to say, but it is too difficult for general people. So we have to rephrase and rethink what we want to say and how to say it. Just as an example what we do. Just, just, wait a sec, wait a sec, yeah. Thanks. And, and you have to stand up as well. Okay. Or, or I, I was just more, saying, yeah. getting back to this gentleman's idea of a, of a directory for those who would want to be a part of it, you know, I think that's kind of a nice idea. Mm -hmm. No one has to be in it. Maybe we could put a paper out and people could sign their email addresses sure. if they wanted, and we could, you know, make copies and have them available by the end of the... Would that work? If, if you write an email address, do it in nice... Clear right, right, right. I agree. It is yeah. so easy. Absolutely. Anton, we, we have a flip over here we could use for that. And if you use a normal pen, then we could l put loads of uh, visitors to the woods in Finland on it. <laughs> <laughs> Helena? Uh, maybe an 
Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe I was thinking, I don't know if it would be a part of the declaration, but um, maybe on the membership application, we could put, would you like to be a part of our directory? Because I think it's important f uh, for me anyway, uh, you know, if people are coming through New York and they study theosophy, that's okay with me, you know? Um, and I'd be happy to show them around. You know, so I'm a friendly philosopher, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I would like to be, so. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now, um, if, if you would pick up Lucifer, um, then there's a nice hint here. Because what I see is the answer to the first question, there's a lot of similarities here. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, check it out later. But there's, there's one point on, on this one here. Anybody from this group here? Excellent. It, it, the, the first sentence reads, I'll read it for you. Love for the truth and question everything. From where to what and why. Could you tell us something about that? Please, Jan. Where is? Where is Jan? Yeah. Aha. Delegating. Good stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, once more, please. Yes, once more. Oh, what, what? Love for the truth and question everything. From where to what and why. Well, we had decided in our little group that uh, what we had written down was, in a way, self-explanatory. So uh, we, we Ooh, decided yeah. that... <laughs> <laughs> so we just wanted to let the word sink in and uh, go over it another night of sleep and tomorrow come back to it and then, okay. So everything I'm going to be saying about anything we've been write, uh, writing down uh, will be uh, diminishing the, the, the intention, because it came from the heart. That sounds very philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, I'm also curious. Uh, um, so the first question was about uh, what is necessary to lead a meaningful life. And the second question was what is necessary to create a just society. Now, what's the difference between the two? Who can say something about that? Yes, please. Um, I've been elected to speak for our group. Um, we, we actually disagreed on this. Um, we, we didn't think that there, some of us thought that there wasn't a difference, uh -huh. and some thought there was. Mm. And so it, this brought disharmony, obviously, to our oui. group because we were, we were disagreeing. Mm. So, uh, it was also evident, actually, that at that point, the energy was just dropping. Really? So we decided to um, scrap the questions that were given and transcend the concrete thinking of the questions. And the... And what happened to the energy then? <laughs> the energy went yep. right up. Ah. Right up. <laughs> and the only thing that we came out with then that we thought was really significant was um, through theosophical teaching, bring soul back into academic teaching and philosophy. And that was, that was really the message from our group. All right. That's a very clear message. Thank you for that. Yes, please. Will you still have the mic? Um, through theosophical teaching, bring soul back into the academic teaching of philosophy. Make it more rounded and more unified and more, more, whole, more of a whole. Nicely put. Thank you very much. So is there a difference? Or between the answer to the first and second question, Carlos? Uh, uh, I think uh, many of the groups took the first two questions to be just about the same. Okay. Are uh, you looking in our group? Which we one? We put question, this is the third one from left to in the bottom, the third, the third uh, right, right there. We, um, we combined the two questions because uh, after, after a discussion that we have among ourselves, we concluded that uh, they were the same elements. Questioning, and you will see questioning in almost every group. Mm -hmm. We need to question. Yep. That questioning will develop a vision. Mm -hmm. That vision will, of course, uh, develop knowledge. Responsibility, knowledge says. Knowledge will take you to responsibility, then to spiritual evolution, evolution mm -hmm. which will take you to brotherhood and action. So that's the way we saw it. It was a chain. It was all the, these concepts leading to one another. And I think uh, looking in, into the other papers when they were there in the wall, 
uh, I think uh, many groups took the same approach, that the first two questions were, were very similar, that we combined the two questions in one. So maybe the second question is more like for the, a greater group of people or communities or society as, as a whole, and the first question was more personal. But the elements at the end we consider to be the same and we just combine the, the two of them. All right, thank you very much. Um, now if we go to the third question, so what do we need to move towards that? Uh, on, on this paper is something interesting. What group is this from? All right, um, it, it says uh, um, promoting theosophy, theosophical philosophy, view together the need to focus on the core values and the two senses. Yeah. Common sense and Hank? Sense of humor. Sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> but about the, two, the core values is uh, uh, we thought that when we try to, to, to study theosophy and to promote theosophy always in the light of the three propositions or the, the basic thoughts of the secret doctrine that would be given enormous uh, strength that was the idea Thank you very much. I get the mic. That's, yeah, you got to come here now. <laughs> so who would like to add to this? What is, what is necessary? What can we do together? Or do we need to uh, take a walk and think about all these things that have been said so far? Bianca? Well, after we had done uh, the... No, actually, I should start a little bit earlier. Um, when we started the, the workshop, we looked at each other and we thought, so what now? <laughs> and at the end, we came up with this, and the energy level was to the ceiling and, and beyond. And uh, then um, one of our group members said, these things are so obvious, and still we need to repeat them, and we need to do it together to get aware of what is so obvious, but we keep forgetting somehow. Ah, so. And uh, so it is practicing mm -hmm. your highest values uh, to an extent that you become an example for each other and through that for others. Thank you very much. Walk the talk, it says a lot over here as well. Anybody else? Okay, now just one more question. Uh, if you look back on today, what, what do you take away from today? Just a couple of impressions. What do you take away from today? Yes? Judy? Well, what I take away from today is really very simple. In the study of religion in essence, which uh, is the wisdom, religion, theosophy, and the study of philosophy, which ultimately started out with Pythagoras as the love of wisdom, in spite of all its technical development over the centuries, I think we have to think that both uh, religion and philosophy lead to divine wisdom, which is the perennial philosophy or <clears throat> the Sanatana Dharma. And I, I think when we discuss science tomorrow, we're going to come to the same conclusion that the synthesis is indeed a very sound one. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, over here. Um, what I take away from today is that I realized that inside the working group, you could not really know from what organization people were coming. Ah, <laughs> that's, that, yeah, give them a hand. So, so, so we're more or less losing our colors. That's nice. There was a hand in the back there somewhere. No? Take away from today? Who would like to say something? I, I, know, I know one person for sure who wants to say something, and he's also going to teach you a little bit of Dutch. <laughs> Jan, where are you? <laughs> I have no comments. <laughs> and I am hungry. What about you? <laughs> 
Okay, this is the end of um, this afternoon. Thank you so much for your wonderful presentation. You generate such a wonderful feeling. I thank you all. Uh, please know that uh, dinner will be served.